fears are nothing more than a state of mind. I can't remember who said that. Hey guys and girls, <clears throat> this is my uh, little video blog before my uh, amateur fight in uh, War in the Cage, amateur MMA here in Thailand. And uh, I'm just about to go into the sauna, that's why I'm in the locker room, I'm in a, at a hotel in Bangkok. And I'm just going to show you guys, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it, because uh, I already threw away the bottle, but this, this nasty piece of beverage, I just had a... Not the, not a full bottle because I can't take a full bottle, but uh, as much as I could take. And this is like a diarrhea medicine, diarrhea on steroids. <laughs> this is gonna make me go to the toilet, and then I'm gonna try to lose the last kilos uh, in the sauna. So see you guys in a few kilos. Okay, so uh, this part two of uh, my little mini series of, uh, video vlog. Um, uh, I'm in a taxi right now. With an uh, old uh, angry Thai Chinese, I think, uh, taxi driver who doesn't speak a word of English, but he keeps on speaking Thai to me. Which would be more fun if I had more fluids in my body now, it's only kind of sort of fun. But uh, I did the, the drunk, the, I can't even pronounce the name, Rampong something, whatever. Um, it makes you go to the toilet, uh, gives you a hardcore diarrhea. So I had that, and then I. Uh, I went to the sauna and uh, for about, uh, I, I don't know, I tried to do first first time I just tried to do 15 to 20 minutes and then second and third time just as long as I can stand it and then uh, I, uh, I started out at 67 kilos and I stopped checking my weight at uh, 61 point something because I can never get this uh, pounds and, and kid to kilos conversion right so I think I'm fighting bantam weight, uh, 135 pounds, which which would be uh, 61.3 kilograms, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I hope so, anyways. So I hope I'm, I have a, maybe even a couple hundred grams marginal. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I don't even have a saliva in my mouth. I'm so dried out, like a racin. And I have in store, it's waiting for me here. It's uh, Two half liters of coconut water, two uh, uh, three, 30, 33 centiliters of sponsor, like a liquid glucose sort of thing. I don't know. And then a half liter of Gatorade and a bunch of ice. So as soon as I get to the stadium and check my weight, that's what I'm gonna hit. See you later, guys. So back to the land of the living again. Um, I, uh, I didn't even have enough energy to, to make any video logs when I was checking my weight, but I made weight 61.2 kilograms or 135 pounds uh, or bantam weight as, as they like to call it in the fight game. And now I'm at uh, my uh, medical center, not mine, but uh, the medical center that I, uses a lot, that I use a lot when I'm here in, in Thailand. And I've drunk about uh, three beverage they call sponsor, which is like a electrolyte uh, glucose kind of thing, and uh, Gatorade and uh, pomegranate uh, juice. They they make it here fr fresh on the streets. I've drunk two small bottles of that, and I'm just getting ready to get uh, two liters of uh, Lactive Ringer IV and. Uh, 100 uh, ml of glucose uh, intravenously so uh, I guess oh, that, that's the reason why I even why I even started this uh, it was uh, I was gonna say it was kind of funny the the taxi ride to go check the weight was 300 Thai baht and uh, and uh, on the way back he kind of took me for a little uh, guided tour so to speak so it was uh, almost 400 on the way back and then I got in to the, to the medical supply shop and I bought the two lactive ringers and the two glucose and the, the, the lines and the IV, the, the needles for the IV and uh, all in all that was 200 baht. So it was half the price as the taxi ride one way and it was a quarter of the price, the, the total taxi ride more or less. Uh, which is kind of amazing, at least for me, coming from Sweden where all, uh, everything is super expensive. Uh, taxi and, and medical care. Um, I don't even 
first of all, you can't even buy lactate ringer yes, over the counter in Sweden. You have to go see a doctor, get a prescription, make an appointment, blah, blah, blah. Over here, it's just you, if, as long as you know what you're getting, they're going to give it to you. Uh, especially if you know a few words in Thai. So now I'm just waiting for the, the lovely nurse. Let's go and see if she, what she's doing. She's setting up the IV. Ah, da -da 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 -da. There we are. That's about to go inside my body with the help of the nurse here. So see you guys soon. Us. Okay, so getting back to the to the land of the living again. Um, I uh, it's been pretty much six hours uh, since I've uh, since I drained my body of fluids, and now I have uh, had a bunch of uh, different uh, electrolytes and wa water with the glucose sort of and uh, IV lactate ringer and glucose intravenously as well so now I'm starting to feel good again and I'm at my favorite uh, restaurant here in Bangkok one of my favorite I should say cafe fish and right next to it is Peter Piri so I uh, took the liberty of ordering something from both places because uh, I'm so hungry I know they say you shouldn't uh, go crazy with your food after dieting and but I haven't really dieted because this came, this fight came on such a short notice so it's been more of a dehydration kind of thing but I'm still not gonna go crazy I'm not gonna uh, go to Carl's Jr. and have a bunch of burgers or whatever I'm gonna try to eat a lot but healthy so uh, it's gonna be some fish and rice and then for tonight it's gonna be some sirloin and some more rice hey surprise you're in Thailand eat rice and uh, I, was, I was thinking of a, a funny thing last time I did the IV the, the lactic ring at the medical place I was talking about before um, they charged me 4,000 baht for for the for the whole procedure. That time I didn't go to a, to a medical supply shop and buy my own lactic ringer. This time, however, I did. And like I said before, it was 200 all in all for the equipment and the ringer and the, the course. And this time, since I bought my own medicine, they only charged me 500 baht. So all in all, it was 700 baht compared to 4,000 baht. You go ahead and work that out into whatever currency you're using. But uh, I don't know why I'm so hung up on prices today. Might be uh, low energy equals uh, easy annoyment. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm taking it in, in good stride. And uh, the important thing comes tomorrow. Everything after that has just been preparation. Oh, you see, now they're coming here. <laughs> 652 baht, two other Okay, come, come. So, as you can see, I gotta pay up so I can eat. <clears throat> it's uh, 8.35. They told us to be here no later than 8.30 because it was very important that you uh, register for register for duty, I think they call it. Which, I don't know, means that you're here, uh, confirm that you're ready to fight. But, 8.35, almost 8.40. literally 10 people here at the most and one organizer who really doesn't have a clue who just told me to go on the bleachers and and uh, yeah and wait for him <laughs> and wait for, for somebody to, to come that knows what's up because uh, I'm, I'm the, the word is that I'm fighting one of the the last fights so and they say they're gonna try to wrap it up before 6 p.m. Which means that if I'm lucky, I'll fight at 4 p.m. Uh, so it's going to be a long day. Feels like uh, any other BJJ tournament. One whole day in the gymnasium, just uh, waiting to to try to not to spend uh, all of your energy and all of your adrenaline too early, too soon. So as soon as uh, someone gets here, so I can register and sign, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. But luckily, I have a friend and he has a car, so we're gonna go get something to eat and. To try to find a, a, a groin protection to find a, a cup because uh, I don't have one and it's mandatory so but as, as I said we have a lot of time anyways this is the stadium kind of a, a little bit nicer setup than last time uh, not as nice as what's uh, uh, that uh, Full Metal Dojo, the, the professional uh, promotion I'm trying to get in, but yeah, 
it's a step in the right direction. I feel good, I feel strong, I feel confident, I feel the support of uh, everybody that uh, supports me, I should say. No one, uh, no one mentioned, no one forgotten. So anyways, <clears throat> see you guys soon. Let me introduce you to, to my good friend, Boom, or Apiwat, as his real name is. Uh, without him, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do this. <laughs> so he's he's uh, my 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 only uh, physical support here uh, in in place, so to speak. Uh, I mean, I got I know I got a lot of support from a lot of my my uh, fight zone family and uh, my my sponsor Los Gaios and some other people. But without this guy, I wouldn't be doing this today. So us touring around the world, locally known, internationally accepted. they said oh there's gonna be a rule meeting they said oh we're gonna start at 10 they said it's now 10 past 10 there's been no rule meeting no registration nothing lucky me I come from the world of BJJ so I'm used to competitions waiting all day so see you guys later getting ready for the, the face-off normally it's the day of the wins but uh, at this event is the same day so um, Two more fights to announce, and that is me. Hi guys, today is uh, January 26th, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, I woke up early today, uh, yesterday didn't go according to plan as you might see in my eye, um, I fought uh, amateur MMA, uh, bantamweight uh, with, uh, with a guy from Fairtex gym here in Bangkok, Thailand and uh, it was an amateur bout but, but uh, there was no, no shin guards, no headgears, no, nothing like that it was only shorter rounds and then there were uh, modified rules uh, one of the rules were that uh, there were no knees to a grounded opponent no knees to the head obviously and, and also there was no elbow strikes uh, neither standing or on the ground uh, other than that it was uh, pretty much standard MMA rules and uh, the fight started out good. I, I hit him with a with a good uh, good jab, and uh, he unintentionally poked my eye, and uh, the referee didn't see it, and so I didn't I didn't want to make a big big fuss of it, so uh, I just let it slide. And then uh, yeah, we had a couple of exchanges. I got him to the ground. I couldn't really do anything. I couldn't. Uh, we were both sort of stuck against the cage, so I couldn't really get anything going. And then he managed to get up, and I, uh, I kept a hold of, his, of one of his legs, going for a single leg. And uh, he kind of uh, sprawled back a little bit, and then uh, kneed me in the in the head. Um, he, he he had hit me with a punch earlier that uh, caught me just under the eye and cut me a little bit, but it, there was there was no problem. But uh, once he hit me with that knee and. Uh, an, an illegal knee, which which uh, resulted in in us arguing, not arguing, but going back and forth with the ref, and the the ref and the judges couldn't really decide whether it was a point deduction or DQ or whatever, um, and um, and in the end, in the end they, they decided to let let the fight go on, uh, which I didn't really agree with, but uh, hey, I'm there to fight, I'm not there to to make any rulings, so I just I just go with whatever they say, and. Um, I did a really stupid thing. I, I, my, my my old amateur boxing coach would have hated me. He would have said, "Is this? <laughs> you can blame yourself for this." Um, I I blow my nose, and if if any of you have done striking sports before, yet I don't know if you you crack your your orbital a little, or if it's just something happens inside when you get a punch here, and when you blow your nose, instead of the air coming out through your nose, the air fills up. 
this this kind of space that you got under your eye <laughs> and the result looks like this so it was kind of uh, partially my own fault and um, the, 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 the doctor took a look at it in the middle of the first round and he said it would be fine and then uh, um, in between rounds he came in again and he uh, I couldn't really make uh, what I think you call it peripheral vision I mean I couldn't make distance I couldn't see if he was like one meter or two meters away from me I couldn't really so uh, they stopped the fight uh, he won by uh, I don't know what you call it referee stoppage technical knockout I don't know anyways uh, he won I lost so uh, Obviously, it's never fun to lose. So you, you don't you don't go into the cage uh, thinking you're gonna lose or even wanting to lose or have any any thoughts about losing in any way whatsoever. But uh, it's also reality of the sport. It's um, and um, I like to to quote my professor back home in Stockholm: "Quitting is not an option." So. I'm definitely not quitting. I'm definitely come, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back stronger, better, more prepared. And um, yeah, um, obviously I have a lot of things in my mind right now, and, and I can't really put everything into words at this point. Cause uh, as soon as I got home, I was just uh, uh, it was a, it was a, a, a tournament event, and uh, but I wasn't I wasn't part of the tournament. I was what they call a, a super fight. <laughs> um, nothing super about that, but yeah. So, so um, I, I fought towards the end of the whole tournament, uh, like yes, before they they had the finals of the the tournament. So I was waiting around in the in the stadium for quite a long time. So once I finally got home, and uh, uh, yeah, I I, I just uh, I took a sleeping pill and I fell asleep straight away, and uh, that's why I woke up early this morning. So I haven't really had too much time to process everything um, I watched the the part of the fight where, where the, the the knee uh, where, where I was grounded and he need me yet yeah, just to make sure that I didn't um, talk talk out of my mouth uh, and so I didn't didn't make it seem like he did something he didn't do but so yeah I haven't seen the whole fight I've just watched that part so I'm gonna I don't know, probably watch it today. Um, I don't really feel like watching it, but um, I guess I, I will, because I guess you'll learn something from it. Uh, however, there's there's a, a, f a few people I would like to, to take the, the time to thank here. here. And it's uh, Hasse Ersson at Fight Zone Stockholm, and Margareta Myr also at Fight Zone Stockholm, and uh, Martin Lavin, him as well as fight, at Fight Zone. And uh, Kuniti at Imac here in Bangkok, Thailand, and Mamoru San, uh, who has been my uh, MMA coach while I've been staying here, and uh, also Apiwat or uh, Boom, as we call him. Um, he's, he's been a true friend um, all throughout my experience here in Thailand, not only on this trip but on multiple occasions. Um, he's he's been always been there for me. Always uh, stepped up and came through when no one else uh, was around. Um, he's helped me in in uh, registering for, for the competition and dealing with all the organizers because it's been uh, all type promotion. So I, I mean, without him, I, I I couldn't even take part in this event. And uh, I mean, there's. Uh, there's this probably more and more people I, I should thank right now and if, if you feel left out or forgotten it's not because I don't think about you it's, it's because my, my head is too full of, of other thoughts right now so um, to all to everyone who's ever supported me in any way uh, thank you so much and um, I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't bring more honor and pride to to our tribe today or yesterday but um, uh, at least I, I held my head up high and uh, I, uh, I try to show uh, good sportsmanship and, and good warrior spirit and uh, I try to be graceful in defeat so um, I hope I still uh, didn't bring no shame to anyone who's been 
been on my side. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Get to the center, get to the center. Get to the center, to the center, to the center. Don't move back. Another. Don't move back. Yes, use the catch, use the catch. Good. Slow, pass, slow, slow. Take tap, take tap. Take tap. Walk, walk more to the side. Push him to the catch. Yes, push him to the catch. Good. Push it to the catch. Walk more. Another walk more. Walk, walk. Please, Ed. Yes, okay. walk more. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Show, show your punch. Right hand. Right hand. Yes. Okay, go. Go. Right hand. Right hand. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You, you need to walk to his head, Fernando. You need to walk to his head to get out. Walk to his head. Yes, walk to his head. More, 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 more. Walk more, walk more. Walk more. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. How do you say intentional? Down, yeah, intentional. Intentional. No, I'm fine, but you can't do that. Yeah. Stop your bleeding. Stop the bleeding first. How tap now? Don't stop. Take him out. Come on. 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 They, they have no, a meeting. Bro, you they have no a meeting. Okay, okay, okay. You say this is intentional. I saw him. Yeah. I could see when he's he up to the left. I, I can make the call. Okay. Yeah, let, let, let the just work in. Let the just work. Let the just work. Otherwise, I don't go for the tape down because I know he can't hit me when I take it down. Joe has to decide. He's the referee. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. ไอ้ตัวนี้ตั้งแต่ตอนโดนต่อยว่าตอนโดนเข่าฮะโดนเข่าโดนเข่าถึงขึ้นใช่มั้ยครับโดนเข่าที่หน้าโดนโดนเข
Walk, walk to the center, walk to the center. Walk to the center. Drive, drive, drive. Walk out from the cash, walk out from the cash. Walk out from the cash. Hands up, hands up. Don't forget your hand. Don't forget your hand. บอกเย็นบอกเย็นตรงหน้าบอกเย็นตรงหน้าบอกเย็นตรงหน้าเลยขอบคุณครับ Loving you is sweeter than ice cream on a honeycomb. Loving you is sweeter than ice cream on a honeycomb. I'm waking up to your love. You fill me up. You give me vibes, and I build you up. I sip a cup, eyes open up, and I've got the strength so I can face the world, baby. See your touch, I need it much. Something extra special to pick me up. If loving you was wrong, better them lock me up, 'cause I can't do without.